Hey, what's up, guys? Slippy J here, pregame.com, joined here by Uncle Dave. We're going to go ahead. We're going to talk some NFL Week 15. Uh, we're going to highlight one game for you guys today. We'll talk to Chiefs. We'll talk to Chargers. Uh, for those of you guys who were following us last week, uh, followed our advice. You went ahead. You cashed in an easy one there, Uncle Dave, uh, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with their overtime miracle cover for us. Uh, I'm sure you saw that game. Did you think we had any chance to win that one there, Uncle Dave? I guess, you know, you can say that with Brady, you always think you have a chance, but um, yeah, it was, it was an easy game. If you woke up uh, Monday and, and look, just looked at the score, you know, if you watched it, it looked like you were going to cash it um, for three quarters of the game, relatively easy. And then of course we all know what happened. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's kind of along, along the lines of the, uh, the Ravens game against uh, Cleveland, you know, it looks easy for a long time, but all of a sudden, and you know, that kind of stuff will drive you crazy, but that's why we do this, I guess. That's right. All right, well, let's talk about the Chiefs. Let's talk about the Chargers. Uh, currently in this game has a Chiefs favor by four. Uh, Uncle Dave, do you see a total on that one? Was it up? Is it up to 51 and a half yet or no? Yeah, it's 51 and a half, Sleepy. All right, so we got a total of 51 and a half. Uh, Uncle Dave, let's talk through this a little bit and try to figure out uh, what we're going to do here. We did a podcast, uh, so we all we, we already have our pick uh, made up here. But let's go ahead and talk through this a little bit. Uh, key injury here for the Chargers. Austin Eckler is banged up right now. Uh, he was uh, helped off the field in the last game, so uh, there's a really good chance that that's one of the reasons why this line has ticked up. It opened up around three and a half now up to four. A lot of people think Eckler probably worth a half a point to the betting line. Uh, I agree with that here, Uncle Dave. I like the Chargers in this game here, Uncle Dave. Yeah, I mean, I like the Chargers too, Sleepy. I mean, it's kind of hard for me not to. You know, I mean, if you just look at this game, both of these teams are off huge wins. So, you know, there's not a lot of the usual sort of recency bias that goes into, you know, people remember what they saw just past this past Sunday. Um, you know, what what's there? It isn't new stuff. I mean, I told you guys last week, I, I think Casey was on an upward trajectory and I've been on them the last couple of weeks. So, you know, now I have to, I have to wonder if they're a little overvalued or is it time to stay on the horse? And, you know, especially in a division game, I mean, you know, those are always um, tend to be lower scoring, tend to be fairly close. And, you know, suddenly this, the chiefs are sort of the talk of the town and um, playing for the first round by, but, you know, the Chargers already beat them this season. It's a primetime game at home. I mean, um, I think the Chargers have the slightly easier schedule going forward. So I think this maybe means a little bit more to them because if they win and have an identical record and the tiebreaker, I mean, that, that it could be game, set, and match uh, in, in that conference. And, um, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried about their defense, though. Um, and I'd be lying if I didn't think for real that Kansas City defense is actually becoming a force. And I have to admit, I was one of the naysayers when they played relatively weak conversation uh, competition, but they – they seem to be still getting it done. Um, but, you know, and on paper, you know, these teams aren't separated by a whole lot, but I think the Chargers run defense is a weakness that I think Kansas City might look to exploit because, you know, that kind of goes against conventional wisdom when you think of the Chiefs. But, you know, I don't think the Chiefs want to shoot out air sleepy, to be honest. I mean, they may pick the wrong team to do that with, uh, especially on the road. And the Chargers, well, they've been dogs four times this season. Uh, and they won three of those straight up. The only loss that they suffered there was that Ravens debacle way back when. And yeah, yeah, I know Sleepy, the Chiefs have won six straight, but uh, most of those games, they weren't two uh, elite offenses at all. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. Are the Chiefs now overvalued? Well, I don't know that that is an oxymoron, but, you know, I think they are. And I, I in division games, as I said early on, they tend to be closer. So, you know, I think the Chargers plus the points of the home are the pick for me. You know, when, when I look at the Chiefs, Uncle Dave, I got to go back to last week to where they blew out the Raiders. So uh, if, if either of these teams are going to be overvalued or uh, the books are going to say, you know what, this team might be bet, bet heavily on because of the results from last week, uh, more than likely it's going to be the Chiefs. You know, you brought up some really good points. I think the Chiefs, in reality, if you look at their schedule, they beat two good teams all year. Uh, they beat Cleveland in week one. They beat Dallas in week 11. But besides that, you know, it was, a, it was the Washington, the Giants, the Eagles, the Broncos beat up on, uh, I think, the Raiders like twice already this season. They beat up Green Bay, but uh, Green Bay ended up having Jordan Love in there. 
So I can't take a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of stock into, you know, the Chiefs going up against this particular Chargers team. I think these two teams are even on offense and even on defense. You know, one of the things that if you go back and you look at the teams that the Chiefs struggled against when they were going through that uh, struggling period, uh, it was a lot of defensive head coaches. Um, and you're going to get another one here in Staley. They already gave, you know, Mahomes uh, enough trouble already, you know, this co- upcoming season. So um, I like the Chargers in this one. I think, um, like you said, Uncle Dave, you don't want to get in a shootout with Herbert. You're going to get Keenan Allen back this week. Uh, you got Mike Williams. You got Cook. Uh, Eckler, I'm guessing he's probably not going to play. But, you know, Justin Jackson is a viable backup where, you know, they have plenty of depth there um, with that particular team in the backfield. I think Kelly's back there, too. So I think the Chargers will be fine if they do have to go into some type of a shootout. You know, you mentioned the schedule here for both of these teams. The Chargers have a better schedule. And, you know, talk about, you know, what's on the horizon next week. The Chargers have to play the Texans. There's no look ahead there. And the Chiefs have to play the Steelers, which. Um, that could be a very motivated Pittsburgh team. So uh, I'm with you. I like the Chargers in this one. Uh, I guess I'll take the four points. I'll put one unit on that there, Uncle Dave. But I think they win this game outright. I think uh, KC is going to come down to earth a little bit, um, you know, in this particular week. So I'm with you. You know, I'll take uh, I'll take the Chargers here. So let's just say that that the Chargers and the Chiefs end up. Uh, you know, in the tiebreaker situation at the end of the year, and maybe maybe the Chargers win. You know, can the Chiefs win, Uncle Dave? You know, can they can can they go through the playoffs? You know, having to go ahead and play on the road. You know, does that worry you, or do you feel like the Chiefs need to be an Arrowhead? You know, in order to go ahead and uh, in advance. Yeah, great point. I mean, I, you know, of all teams, I think they do need to be at Arrowhead. Um, you know, there's obviously that's one of the bigger uh, home field advantages in the NFL, um, but you know, historically. I think when, when, when teams have gotten the Chiefs, they've got them away from Arrowhead. I mean, you know, you even look at this year, um, even at Arrowhead, you know, that game against the Packers you brought up, you know, they only scored nine points. Um, they only scored 22 on Denver. And you brought up that whole um, crush in the Raiders last week. But I think that was like super predictable because the Raiders, you know, when we've talked on, on other podcasts are, are, are emotionally spent from the, the Gruden thing, the rugs thing and whatnot. So, you know, they lost on the road to Baltimore. They lost at Tennessee. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think that uh, I think the, the Chargers have a better chance on the road than perhaps the Chiefs do, in my opinion. All right. Good stuff there. You know, I think the Chargers actually are built for uh, any type of weather, any type of stadium, indoor, outdoor, uh, rain, wind, snow, whatever the case might be. I actually like the Chargers. I'm surprised that they're not doing a little bit better record-wise, but I think that that is a uh, a solid, well-built team. You know, if they could just fix their, you know, their rushing defense, um, I think that they're going to be a tough team to go ahead and deal with, you know, come playoff time. But that'll wrap it up, guys. Uh, quick pick for myself and Uncle Dave there. We'll go ahead. We'll back the Chargers there uh, in the game against Kansas City on Thursday night. Uh, with that said, you guys know where to find us on Twitter, Sleepy G underscore pregame at Dave underscore Essler. You guys could always get us at pregame.com. Uh, Uncle Dave, with that said, hopefully uh, you can go ahead and do well uh, for the rest of your remaining week, and hopefully you guys do as well. We'll talk to you later.